Hey there classy vegans, it's Kate, and today I have another unboxing video for you. Exciting! Everyone's favorite bright pink box, Petite Vore, came in my mail today. Petite Vore is a monthly subscription box that is available for $15 a month, and it has four products in it. Some of them are deluxe sample sizes, and some of them are full size. So I am going to open it for you on camera. It is still taped up. I haven't looked inside this at all. All I did was scribble out my address because you never know who could be on the internet, right? I'm gonna slicey slicey right here. I'm a dork, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. The first thing on top of the box this month is the card, which says, hooray! It has all of the product details on the back, and this month's box is called Pretty Fantastique. Here's this month's card with all of the information on it. The next thing in here is another card, which I bet goes along with the product. It says it is Smart Ash. <laughs> Smart ash. And then we have the shreddies. Now I'll remove the shreddies. Oh, oh, there is smart ash in here. So let's start with the smart ash since we already looked at the card. Here's the smart ash. Um, the little card says, the natural ingredients safely lift stains and toxins from your teeth while simultaneously strengthening, remineralizing, and reversing sensitivity. That's interesting. Sounds too good to be true. It is safe to use every day as a toothpaste alternative and the food grade ingredients are kid friendly, 100% fluoride free, non-GMO, vegan and cruelty free. So there is Smart Ash. Next there's this pretty little green bottle. Kumari Luxury River Bath and Body Oil. River must be the scent. The power of contentment and intelligence. Big words from a body oil. Rub in a drop or two so we can see what it smells like. Yes, very oily. Just like a bath and body oil should be. It smells a little minty. A little like soap, too. The label says there's lavender in it. I don't know. I don't know that I pick up lavender. I definitely get mint. I get mint from this. Not so much lavender. The card says about this, it is a soothing, cooling, aromatic bath and body oil to invite total serenity, formulated with organic chamomile and olive oils. Chamomile? Yeah. Yeah, no. No, I get the chamomile now. Definitely get the chamomile. Has a very subtle, very soothing fragrance. Next in here, there is this little guy hiding here. And it says, ooh, goody. Uh, Juara? I think that's what that says, Juara brand. And it is coconut hand and nail balm. Hydrates and conditions hands, nails, and cuticles. Good enough, all right, let's try a little bit here. An ultra-rich hand balm made to treat and soften dry hands and cuticles. Pretty simple. Put it on your hands, rub it around. That's what you do. Ooh, coconutty. And this seems to be very, very moisturizing and very conditioning. I like that a lot. Yeah, big fan of that. That's good stuff. Already down to the last thing in the box, and I think it's the best thing in here. I saved it for last, that's for sure. It says it's from Studio 78 Paris. Oh, it's a cream eyeshadow. I don't use a lot of cream eyeshadows. Velvet smooth texture for a matte makeup result. I believe the color is called In Prague. And it seems to be sort of purple, maybe? I don't know, let's open it. So there it is in this little container. And look, it has this cute little mirror. Oh, look, you can see my camera. That's adorable. There it is, yes! Inception! I'm gonna take a little of this, smear it somewhere. All right. Okay, there's the swatch. It feels very velvety. I apparently got a lot. I'm putting <laughs> putting a lot on the back of my hand here. Oh, yeah, it smells lemony. That's new. Because I don't use a lot of uh, 
lot of cream eyeshadow. I'm not really used to its pigmentation, but it seems to be very, very highly pigmented. Since I don't know how to use this, it's going to be a learning process. That's exciting, right? Uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands before I continue doing this. Hang on. I don't know how I feel about the color they sent me. I don't wear this color. It's like a neutral. None of my makeup is neutral. I used to be a big fan of the Urban Decay Naked palette, but then I sort of outgrew that and I was like, I want fun colors on my face. Maybe it'll be good when I need to look like an adult instead of a friggin' weirdo. Impressions on this month's box. I like that there's a full-size eyeshadow, creamy eyeshadow in here, but I'm not super in love with the color because it's not really me. This stuff is great. I wish this came in a full-size because I'm running out of really good hand cream. Bath and body oil I don't use a lot. This seems to be a thing. A lot of these boxes seem to send some kind of oil in their... I don't know. And then there's this stuff. I'm not really into natural dental products because I have very very weak enamel on my teeth. I always have. I have a lot of dental problems and I need fluoride in my mouth, otherwise bad things happen. If you do not have special mouth needs, maybe this kind of thing is for you. I'm not super excited about this product. This month's Petite Vore box, I would say, had one hit, uh, one complete miss, and two eh, maybes. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe. We'll do a bunch more fun stuff together. I hope you have a really, really great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey there, Classy Vegan, it's Kate, and today I have an unboxing video for you. I just got my very first Liberty box. This is the April Liberty box and I'm super excited to open it. So I wanted to do it real quick before I, I got antsy. Creepy doll face.